my name is Michael Hauk. I'm one of the partners and founders at Congruent X, and uh, I have a special guest with me today, Annie. Hi, everyone. I'm Annie Zemlicka Hayes, and I'm with Click Dimensions. Thanks for joining, Annie. So, the topic of today, as the as the uh, title of the webinar, right, is mastering RevOps or revenue operations excellence. And um, you know, for people who may know Click Dimensions through the channel, there's probably a preconceived notion of of who Click Dimensions is and and what you do. Mm -hmm. um, and I and for me, part of today's focus is to to maybe educate them a little bit on some of the shifts that have happened. So, if we're talking about revenue operations, why are we talking to Click Dimensions? Well, Click Dimensions can really affect any department within an organization. Uh, a lot of people think of Click Dimensions as just a marketing automation solution, but it can really affect revenue operations as a whole. Uh, marketing, of course, is a huge piece of that, but with some of the solutions that we've introduced over the last year, including our sales engagement solution that is really bent for sales reps, um, we have really tied those departments of marketing sales and even the customer organization together with the ways that we can communicate with our solution um, with things like automated campaigns and other features we'll talk about throughout today. So Click Dimensions has always been a uh, marketing technology and always will be, but there are so many ways that we can affect the organization as a whole to uh, benefit revenue operations. Awesome. Thank you. So mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, when when we think about Revenue operations, at least at Congruent X, and and I think in general, when most people think about revenue operations, there there's a natural tendency to think about sales and marketing first, and then mm -hmm. the customer organization. I don't want to say separately, but in many organizations, it seems to be an afterthought. Obviously, I wish it wasn't, and that's part mm -hmm. of what we're trying to do is is make it less of an afterthought. But let's let's talk about sales and marketing particularly. Um, and again, your products, because I think that's, if anybody's familiar with you, that's probably how they're familiar with you. But I think even, you know, as you said, some of the products have been around for a long time. And I think some mm -hmm. of the things that you've done recently and some of the, the newer features and enhancements that you've made to the legacy products, as well as the new products, um, mm -hmm. really help from a RevOps perspective. And I'd, I'd like to talk about a few of those and maybe kind of how we've seen them used with our clients. Sure. Yeah, so when it comes to sales and marketing, it, Click Dimensions really helps unify those two. So it, it allows you to all work in the same system. So if you're not familiar with Click Dimensions legacy products or a core product that lives within Dynamics 365, it allows you to do your marketing communications, track who's coming to the website, track if people are putting in web form submissions, all right back to the contact and lead records within Dynamics. And that allows your sales team to see that activity at any time. So they can see what's going on from a sales perspective. I could go in and say, oh, it looks like this person opened this email last week and went to four different pages on our website. Let me see what pages those are so I can communicate to them about what they're actually interested about. So instead of just coming in and marketing saying, hey, we've got an active one here in sales, like, all right, I'll reach out. It allows you to really dive into, okay, what were they looking at? What were they interested in? How am I going to follow up with them in an impactful way rather than just a generic thanks for your request? Um, it lets us get to a point where sales and marketing can have that seamless connection because they're both using dynamics and they're both getting something out of the investment that they've already put into their dynamics environment. Um, and there's a number of different ways we can do that, right? So one of the things that I've been hearing more recently is I've been talking to people looking for a marketing solution or using our solution is that they're starting to do much more on social. And what I really love about Click Dimensions from a marketing and sales perspective for that is that whenever somebody interacts with those social posts, it maps back to the dynamics environment. So our social solution will actually tell you if someone clicked on a LinkedIn post, if they clicked on a Twitter post even if they clicked on a TikTok post, because we're bringing that out too now. Um, there's been a lot of great advancements in our social tool um, that allow us to really say, hey, if someone's interacting, we need to follow up with them. And our solution allows you to do that with that data all coming back to your centralized location right within Dynamics. You know, there's some 
features there that we're always going to use from a sales and marketing perspective too. So if we think about just a general email send, you've got your monthly newsletters or updates, click dimensions will always support that. Um, you want to do automated campaigns based on how people are interacting with your website or with an email that's sent or even with a social post. We have triggers for social clicks now in our automated campaigns. There's just a number of things that are really going to drive people to working together. And the whole organization has true visibility into that. So instead of sales working over here and marketing working over here, we're working together so that we can see what each other is doing and how we're driving revenue together, which makes reporting way easier because it's all in one place. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so as usual, you spurred a couple kind of follow-up questions and some sure. of thoughts. So the first thing to me, right, you know, I, I've been a Click Dimensions partner for more than a decade at this mm -hmm. point. And, and obviously, you know, when I first was introduced to you within the ecosystem and that marketing product that's been around for a long, long time, um, that, you know, the fact that the data is in a single database and there's no integration required um, was probably the biggest single thing that, that you know, got me interested in Click Dimensions and, and where, you know, I started using it with some of my clients. Um, at that time, uh, mother Microsoft, if you will, right? The, the manufacturer of Dynamics uh, mm -hmm. did not have a marketing solution. They, they do now, albeit they don't call it marketing anymore. We, we won't go down that, that tangent. But, you know, it's no surprise, I think, to, to folks that, you know, Microsoft continues to try and take their product suite upstream to bigger and bigger mm -hmm. organizations. And in particular, what was Dynamics for Marketing, what's now Customer Insights Journeys, um, is designed for big organizations. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, that's great for the right organization. But I think talking a little bit about, you know, the difference between Click Dimensions and that platform and how that might suit the SMB, SMC, a little bit more, mm -hmm. and, and then I do want to drill into um, your new product and and the SMB play versus the SMC play, if you will, because mm -hmm. again, I'm trying to make this um, impactful for an organization, regardless of what size they are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, Click Dimensions recently released a solution called Power Pack. So what we've done is we've taken the Power Platform from Microsoft and those licenses from Microsoft are typically lower cost, right? They're lower cost licenses to have those Power Platform based licenses. So what Click Dimensions has done to serve the smaller end of the SMB market is we've created a solution that is fully Power Platform based that has a CRM that tracks things like your accounts, your contacts, your opportunities, your competitors. It's all right there within the solution. But it ties in our marketing automation solution as well with the full functionality, including automate things that SMBs usually wouldn't have access to, right? They, they're not going to have access to, and most solutions that the smaller end of the SMBs are using today, they're not going to have access to automated campaigns, to a social tool that maps clicks back to their contacts, um, to have the web tracking in one place, the forms, the surveys, the landing pages, all of it included together in one solution. So we've included that along with the CRM and a sales sequencing solution that will allow the sales team to set up sequences so they can go in and say, you know, send an email on day one, make a phone call, do a LinkedIn request, um, create a task to check in, whatever it might be, but it allows them to also do that from a sequencing perspective. So there's really a fine line there where Dynamics is going to be a better fit and we are always going to have our dynamic solution at Click Dimensions. That's something we're very committed to. And that really is a good fit for that SMC, right? And SMB customers as well that want more customization available in a dynamics environment. But Power Pack is there for those that are ready to make a step to something that has more functionality. They know they need to market better. They know they need more features than just general email reach outs and they want to get better and more mindful about their marketing. Um, but also have that direct connection to sales and even to those working with customers. So that's where Power Pack comes in from Click Dimensions as well. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and again, you know what, just to, to reiterate, what I like about that is, you know, our perspective is that every organization, if they're not already doing RevOps, should be considering RevOps. Mm -hmm. And and what I like is that, you know, 
your company provides solutions that really regardless of the size of the organization, there's something available that can help them do RevOps. Mm -hmm. And and then obviously from our perspective, you know, we, we've got other pieces um, that we kind of sprinkle on top of that as we work with our clients to even get more value out of their investment, you know, in, in whether it's your technology and Microsoft's technology or, or that hybrid of, of both, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it, it's really nice to, to have those options. So Absolutely. we've, we've talked now about the sales and marketing side. Let's, let's go back to that, that customer team, mm -hmm. if you will. Right. Because again, I think it's fairly obvious how a sale and marketing solution can help sales and marketing for RevOps. Yeah. but how do your solutions help customer teams? So there's a few ways that we can do that, right? I see a number of even our customers that will use our automated campaigns for the customer teams to help with that first year journey. Um, you know, even we do some of that internally too, where we'll say if someone has become a customer, they've been a prospect, we've worked them through the opportunity process, they now become a customer. And that customer may have continue, may continually purchase from us or maybe a recurring revenue type customer. So we need to make sure that we have touch points in place to continue to reach out to them. One of the ways that we can do that is with campaign automation. We've added some triggers to campaign automation at Quick Dimensions recently that allow you to trigger things based off changes being made on the contact records in Dynamics itself. So if they go from prospect to customer or however you may have it in your system, right, they're, they're that paying customer, then we can say once that change has been made, let's add them to this sequence or this uh, automation and we can have them follow a path that says send an email introducing them to their account rep. You know, send a task for the account rep to follow up on day five. Um, send another automatic email, and if they click on, yes, I need more help, or no, I don't, we can use the automated campaigns to really follow up with them and keep them on a journey based on how they want to interact with us. Whether that be clicking through on emails, driving them to you know more information on the product or our support pages that we might have throughout the journey without saying, here's one email with everything you need, good luck. Right. We're going to allow them to have that automated journey as they become a customer. So they either want to purchase from us again or continue to renew their contract. And that awesome. really helps with revenue operations as a whole, because we're not just saying, well, sales and marketing did their job. Off we go. We're keeping that communication going throughout the entire process. The proverbial everybody sells, right? Yes. At all times. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Awesome. Thank you. Um, we're about halfway through the time, and uh, obviously, you know, it, it's great for the audience to kind of understand where you are with the product and, and kind of your journey and how you've gotten here and, and what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. But of course, everybody wants to talk about the future. Mm -hmm. um, and, and for me at this point, I guess, sadly enough, I, I kind of have to break the future into two pieces right? Because everybody wants to talk about AI. So we have mm -hmm. to talk about AI because you know that there's people that, that want to know. Um, but then I want to talk about things that aren't necessarily AI related from a roadmap perspective and, and sure. where Click Dimensions is going with their product. So it doesn't matter to me if you want to blend those two together okay. or do one versus the other, you know, however you prefer to handle it. But, but obviously mm -hmm. we have to sprinkle AI in there a little bit because I'm sure it's to. on your mind. It is. It, it is definitely on our minds. Um, there's a number of things that we've added just in the last few months that have been very exciting from Quick Dimensions. So we'll start with a couple of the things that aren't necessarily AI, and then I'll move into the AI portion of the conversation. Um, we have released a new form builder with Quick Dimensions, and our form builder was very functional previously in the way that if someone filled it out, we could create a new lead or contact for you in Dynamics to then kick them in a journey to follow up with, right? Kick them into those automations, let that follow-up process happen naturally based on how they're interacting. But we've released a new form builder now that allows us to be more cognizant of how we're following up with them when they complete that form immediately. One of the best features in our new form builder, other than it being completely drag and drop and super easy to use, which I'm very excited about, um, is that we can do complex validation pages. And so what that means is if someone comes in and says, hey, I'm interested in product A, it's not just going to send them to a, thanks for filling out the form, we'll reach out, you know, that typical robotic answer you're going to get, it's going to send them to the product page for product A. 
or if they select product B, send them to the product page or product B upon that form completion. So there's some dynamic completion built in there, which I've been looking forward to for a few years now, um, but we have released it. It is live um, in the Dynamics product now, so I'm very excited about the forms. Um, our landing page editor is new over the last year, year and a half here as well. So if you're a user or, or were at one point, it is really nice. It's also drag and drop. It is built much the same way as our form editor, so that they have the same look and feel as you can use each one. You can expect that coming from our email editor in early 2024. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a moment because that's more on the AI side, exciting things coming. Now, another thing that Click Dimensions has released that's a new feature that we've been very excited about for quite some time, it's something our customers have been asking for too, is the ability to do segmentation. When you're doing automated campaigns from a marketing perspective, it can be difficult to solve for that adding people dynamically. Dynamic marketing lists from Microsoft um, within Dynamics itself typically were not able to be used in automated campaigns. With the release of segmentation from Click Dimensions, we can now create dynamic segments that add people as they meet criteria. Think of that customer example I used, right? If they're a customer for a product or service A, add them to this segment, and they start going down that path just based on being a customer for product A. And it allows us to dynamically add people as they start to meet the criteria or remove people as they don't throughout the automation. Um, that is something that has been very top of mind for us. And the release this year was very exciting. We had a lot of existing customers that this has been very beneficial for. Segmentation also allows us to get into data within the entities that are related to the contacts. So if we need to get into the account, we need to get into the opportunity and say, if this, that, it's very complex if you want it to be, or very simple if you want it to be. But segmentation has been a great release from Quick Dimensions. Let's get into the AI, because that's the exciting stuff, right? So the social tool from Click Dimensions released in the last year, the ability to do some AI about how you write your posts. So in addition to automatically generating like the description, so if I put a link in, it'll generate a description and say, you know, this is what the social post is about, click here, whatever it might be. We now have the ability to use AI to rewrite those based on, I call it tone and temperature, right? How do we want it to sound to the reader? Do I want it to sound cheeky? Do I want it to sound professional? Do I want it to, you know, can you write this in a different way just to kind of get some different options? And it allows us to do that as we're creating those posts so we can try different things within social, um, but not have to think of it ourselves because that's why AI is great, right? It does a portion of the job for us. Um, that has been a really great feature within social. We've seen a lot of people who are using our social have had really good feedback on it. But it also allows us to use a tool called the message generator. And within the social tool, we have the ability, again, to add a link to whatever content we want to post about. I use ones from our blog quite often. And I'll say generate three different messages for Facebook, four different messages for LinkedIn, and it'll write them all completely different for me. And I just click to post. And it doesn't look like I'm posting the same thing over and over. I'm posting a different description. And AI is in the back end of that writing that for us. So nice. really nice. cool things from social. Um, not on the AI side, but we also can now connect to TikTok. So Michael have to get his dancing shoes on or something. Start a TikTok account soon. No? All right. Well, it's worth a shot. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha may make me at some point, but it, it will probably take some kicking and screaming. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave that to Max. Um, uh, he can there dance. You so we'll, there you go. We'll let that go. <laughs> um, something that's coming in 2024, and I teased this a little bit when I was talking about email, is we're building AI into our email editor as well. So that it can suggest rewrites, it can suggest text based content. Um, so we're building that into the email editor. It's going to be a new look and feel editor. It's still going to be drag and drop. So it's still very easy to use like the one we have today, but we're building that AI component into it to allow marketers to have a way to try some of those different writing. Think of like what I said for social, but for the email marketing too. So content suggestions um, and things like that built right into the email editor. 
So you're not having to rely on just like, okay, I've got to come up with the copy for this. Here's some talking points. Can you write this for me? And it just makes the marketer's job so much easier. Um, because most marketers I know and I have talked to have been asking about AI. Even just in the last six months, as I get onto demos of Click Dimensions, the topic of AI comes up consistently. And Click Dimensions wants to make sure that we're presenting those features as well. So that's coming soon. Very excited about it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So again, trying to be cognizant of time, uh, and I want to make sure we have at least five minutes for questions. I, I think, you know, at the end of the day, you know, part of the reason that that we asked you to join us on the webinar was to to really edu educate, you know, either existing clients or prospective clients on on kind of what your product brings. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, if I look at at our partnership with you, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, if 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 an organization understands your product and they know what they need to do, that's great. Um, if they don't, or if they don't have a well-defined RevOps strategy and they're not familiar with RevOps and how it can actually help their sales team be more, not just more efficient, but more effective, mm -hmm. right? That's really where we come in is, is that we, you know, we take your product and we configure it um, based on specifically either what they're doing or maybe what they're not doing that they should be doing and how mm -hmm. it can really truly help them um, be more effective. And that's that's one of the things to us that, you know, we love about your products is that they're all configurable, right? So I can either take your product from you and, and use it and solve a specific need, or I can come in and tweak it and change some things and, and you know, even build my own forms and, and things like that and and still leverage all of the features that you just talked about. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's nice as a partner to have that option that depending on what our client needs, and again, it kind of goes back to the, the size and sophistication of the business, right? Mm -hmm. um, some bigger companies have a pretty well-defined roadmap in terms of what they're trying to do and how they're trying to do it. Um, Sometimes there's big companies that don't have a well-defined roadmap, but certainly on the smaller side, we see a lot more opportunity where organizations just either don't have the expertise or the experience and, and need some help along that. And and so it's it's fun to get to work with you and your team um, to help them go through that journey. So uh, again, I just want to thank you for for making some time to, to share um, what your product suite brings um, to your customers and prospective customers today. Absolutely. Um, questions. Uh, Tasha, it doesn't matter to me if you want to open up mics or people can use the chat if they have questions. Um, I think there's a couple questions that we get asked a lot by our clients that just for the sake of the audience and, and anybody who may listen to the, the recording after the fact that are definitely worth talking through because I feel like literally 90% of the time when we're talking to prospective clients about click dimensions, we get asked a couple questions. Mm -hmm. um, so I give the audience a chance. If nobody has anything, then, then I'll ask my questions first. So the first question, um, and, and you kind of already answered it, but if people don't know the ecosystem very well, I'll ask you to elaborate a little bit. And that is, mm -hmm. you know, do I have to have dynamics to use click dimensions? The answer used to be yes. So it, it, yeah, and up until last July, the answer there was yes. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, if you want to use click dimensions with Dynamics 365, you do need an enterprise license for one user to do that. Um, and then you can bring in other users or other license levels, right? But it allows you to create that connection with the Dynamics environment and adds all the great Click Dimensions features we talked about to Dynamics. Now, as of this last July, when Click Dimensions released our Power Pack solution, you can now use Click Dimensions with our Power Platform based CRM and sales engagement tool with Power Apps licenses. So if you're a smaller business, and you don't need high customization within your CRM environment. You just need something to help track those accounts, contacts, and opportunities. It might be a fit for you. And we wanted to make sure that those licenses were at affordable prices for SMBs, which is why we went the Power Platform route. We've also been a longtime Microsoft partner. So taking our solution to other platforms didn't seem like a great option to us. We wanted to keep it all within the Microsoft family and continue to work with this amazing partner network like we do with Congruent X um, on the Microsoft side. So it's something that we're really excited about at Click Dimensions. You don't have to have a D365 license anymore to use Click Dimensions, but you certainly still can. That's still, you know, our Dynamics business is still our largest business and it always will be. 
We love working with those that are using Dynamics, but now we have options for smaller businesses too. Fair enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I think the the second question that that I get asked a lot, you know, it's it's kind of funny because we talk about this a lot internally in terms of when people are looking to to buy solutions for their business, um, whether it's literally the products and the SKUs or they're looking for services from organizations like us. Um, there's all kinds of statistics out there that show that that people are doing more research themselves and they want to get mm -hmm. answers and then they'll talk to a human being about what things look like, right? So yeah. obviously from our perspective, right, we'd like them to reach out to us and ask us and, and you know, we can educate and leverage our partnership with you in terms of, of um, any questions that they might have about click dimensions, but if somebody's not comfortable, they don't want to talk to us, they want to do their own research first, where and how do they find out more about click dimensions before um, they come to us, assuming they want to come to us? Yeah, so the biggest place to do that is just from the click dimensions website, clickdimensions.com. Um, we have information there about our solution for dynamics, and it's very clear on our website, whether it's power pack or click dimensions for dynamics. Um, and then we have that entire section for Power Pack as well. Both have short videos about an overview of our solution. But um, the best way to really learn about it is to walk through it with Congruent X because they're going to take a look at it from a holistic solution and say, what do you need on the CRM side? And how can we make sure that you have marketing to back that up? And that's where they would bring us in for part of that conversation as well. So we work very closely with them. Research on your own, clickdimensions.com is a great place to do that. But if you have a business challenge you're trying to solve, talking to one of us is going to be more beneficial. Awesome. Thank you. Um, we're just about out of time. Anybody in the audience have any questions before we go? Otherwise, I don't want to keep anybody late. Um, I will just wrap by thanking Annie for her time and insight today um, and, and the partnership. Um, obviously, looking forward to doing more business next year. Yes, thank you so much for having me today. It was a pleasure meeting with you. All right. Thanks, all. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone.